What's up, y'all? It's Dr. Paul, Liberty Hill Comics. It is a new day, and we have renewed energy to go after some of the adhesive that's still on this cover of Superman number nine that belongs to our friend Noah. If you've been following the series, you know that it was covered in tape. I commented basically that it looked like it had been laminated in tape. There was so much tape on it. Um, we have removed all of the tape carrier, the plastic backing of the tape. And we've removed a lot of the adhesive, but we still have a little bit left. The, it's dry right now. It's sitting on a piece of Holitex. There's also some adhesive on the back because this cover had tape on both sides. So at the moment, that adhesive is holding it to the Holitex. I don't want to disturb that until we wet the book and we use a solvent that will loosen up that adhesive so we can safely remove the cover from the Holitex. I've been using, as you know, this solvent, Bestine. It is on the T's chart close to hexane. It's not especially volatile, and so it, it lends itself to being used indoors with decent ventilation without too much trouble. So I'm, uh, I'm putting a little bit of it in a beaker here, and we will dispense from the beaker. Now, I've commented before about how when you wet these, you want to wet them all quickly, one end to the other, because if you don't, you can get tide lines. And while that's generally true, this has been already in this solvent for hours. And as you know, it, it took just the barest tinge of yellow out of this book, but it really, to the visible eye, it has not degraded the color at all or faded anything. Because it's already been in this solvent for hours, I don't actually need to wet the whole book now. And ordinarily, I would load just a little bit of this solvent in a syringe and just spot use it. But because we do have to wet the whole page to release it from this Holitex anyway, um, I probably will end up just wetting this whole side of it and then flipping it. Probably putting another piece of Holitex here and then flipping it. But before we get to that, we're going to start with just how we know where the adhesive still is. I have found the, the most effective tool is actually just your finger. And there was tape all along here. But there's no tackiness at all. I can slide my finger across there. I don't feel anything at all. The same was true here. This had tape. Even though there's a line right here where the edge of the tape was, I can slide my finger across here. I don't feel anything at all, no ridge, no tackiness, anything like that. The same is true along this edge. And up in here. So we've effectively removed all of the adhesive in those areas. Now we might try something with that line because I do think that's a tiny roll of adhesive where the adhesive right at the edge of the carrier dirt could touch that exposed adhesive and it did and it left that line. And we may try to do something about that. Now, in contrast to the areas I just showed you, let me show you the areas where there still is some adhesive. You can hear it and you can feel it. It's still tacky right here. Okay, so we need to work on this area. If you use incident light, my light source is over here, and if I look at it, if I put my face over here and look at it this way, you can actually see on the surface where that tackiness is. Another area that's still a little bit tacky, this is okay, but right in here it's tacky. This strip is tacky. And this is just a little, little bit, not much, but I think enough that we want to wet that and we want to use this scraper tool and see if we can remove some of that adhesive. There is just the barest layer of adhesive there. One other tool that you can use, 
sometimes is this. It's called the crepe square. This is basically kind of like raw rubber. And now I would not use this on delicate paper like in this area. I wouldn't use it around this tear. But here where the paper is actually relatively strong, we might see just how well this works. The way that you're supposed to use this is you just drag it along the adhesive. And the adhesive sort of wants to adhere to the rubber. So the, the adhesive will come up. That's the idea anyway. I don't know if it's had any effect here. I actually feel like it may have a little bit. I'll try it a little bit more here. This is similar to like if you have sticker residue on something and you roll it like with your finger and you get like a little uh, sticker booger almost, right? This is more effective than using your finger because the rubber sort of, it's like wants to attract like here. And it really wants to grab with this crepe square. And that's how it works. Now, I don't know that it's making any difference here at all. I don't think it is. But I wanted to show you that tool and it's something you should put in your arsenal. Sometimes it is actually very effective. Uh, I do have a link in the description to where I purchased these. It's an affiliate link for Amazon. And that's true of all the tools you'll see today. The Bestine, the Scraper tool, any of the things that I use in my videos, I put that there. So that if you're trying to do this conservation work yourself, you can go ahead and check out those links and and it does help me out i appreciate it if you order your things through there you know i get a dime or, or 25 cents something like that okay let's get started with the solvent over here and we'll see how this goes those of you that have been watching the progress on this book know that i have already worked in this area a fair amount We do have this tear, which means we have some loose fibers there. I'm gonna obviously try to avoid those while getting some of this adhesive off. And I mentioned this in a previous video, but it's worth repeating, you basically can can press on this paper with the scraper safely when it's wet. And that's because the adhesive, when it's wet, isn't really adhering to anything. It is happy to sort of just be, to just glide around or be pushed around with the scraper. Once the adhesive starts to dry, however, it could potentially start grabbing paper. And so you do want to be very careful when doing this sort of work. Once you notice the paper starting to dry, you need to re-wet it before you work it any further. Minimally, you need to stop scraping. <laughs> and then if you want to continue working it, you need to re-wet it. I think from the incident light, and I've got most of it, it looks like there might be just a little bit of adhesive right here. So I'm going to try to just put a drop right there. Yep. Yep. I got it. Hopefully my wrist wasn't in the way, but I really had to come at that from that angle to get it. And 
I think. Now I'm dabbing here, I'm not wiping, just dabbing. You heard that there. That spot right there has just a little bit of tackiness. So I'm gonna come right at that spot. You can use other tools for removing the adhesive. Um, sometimes it's effective to use like a Q-tip or something like a paper towel. You can wipe it a little bit or use a combination of those tools. just a tiny bit here now and I'm not sure if I moved it down there or if there was before and I didn't notice it but again just one drop this is a tiny amount of adhesive frankly it's probably enough that we could move on without really dealing with it but that's just as you know not my style we're gonna do everything we can to remove everything from the paper. There we go. And now you note, no tackiness. Okay. So that area is done. Um, and you know, we had searched through the rest of the book. This is the only area here and here that in little here that's actually tacky. And I think you can tell there's an obvious darkness here to where the adhesive is. And if you look down here, the color difference, this also had tape, but the color difference here and here, we don't have that same darkness that we have here to here. And that corresponds to there being no adhesive here. It's not tacky. My finger doesn't catch on it as I ro roll across. Whereas here, it, it isn't actually very tacky, but it's just a little bit, okay? So I also might try a little bit of the solvent here and just see what we can do about that line. Um, I don't know because it doesn't feel tacky. I don't feel like a... a uh, I don't feel like there's a accumulation of the adhesive there, but might be just enough that if we work it with this scraper tool, we may be able to get rid of that line at this stage. So I'm gonna give it a try and we'll see what happens. We're going to lose tiny little bits of paper here and there. Those are little frayed pieces that are already loose. I'm going to let that dry and see if it lightened up that line. And if it did, then we'll do it here, here, and anywhere else where I think it might benefit, possibly up in this area. While that dries, we know for sure that there's a little bit of tackiness in these areas, so I'm going to come at them. This is tough as to exactly how I should approach it because the raw paper here, the pulp that's left after we lost some of the layer, um, attacking this from this direction is probably going to peel up more paper. On the other hand, coming at it from this direction is probably going to push adhesive up into this weak paper. So... I think probably the best approach is to try to start on decent paper and come along it lengthwise and then try to sort of roll up adhesive in an area and then dab it, either pull it off with this or with a Q-tip or whatever we need to do. So that's what I'm going to try. And there really isn't a lot of adhesive here, so I don't think 
it's a big job. And boy, is that paper ever weak. This area is we're going to have to cover in mending paper. get the book back together eventually. This would be a candidate for leaf casting as well, but um, Noah's intention with the book was to not have it leaf cast at this time. So what we'll do is we will, we'll put Japanese paper. Once we get all the adhesive off, I'll give you guys a little preview of what's to come. So we're gonna finish getting this adhesive off. The next step after this will be to finish the cleaning. So the solvent, as you know, didn't actually clean much of the book. It, it really was other than the adhesive, most of the book has been pretty inert to the solvent. So in addition to, it's just the barest amount of adhesive. I don't know if you can see that little tiny bit, but that is all it takes for your finger to feel the tackiness on the paper. So we do want to get it off. And we know that that adhesive is will eventually destroy our book, right? That's what gets down into the paper and gets it brittle. So as I was saying, this Bastine, it really has not negatively impacted the colors on the book. It hasn't, you know, dulled our, our nice, beautiful red and blue and yellow and, and the nice flesh color of Superman's face. But it also hasn't dealt with like all these stains and the dirt and grime that's in here, right? We're going to need an aqueous solution to do that. And so once we get the rest of the adhesive off of here, the next step will be aqueous washing and a mild bleaching to get rid of some of this staining. You remember the Versa had a lot of bleed through. It had really bright red and blue bleed through on the on the versa of this cover. We will do some bleaching to knock that down. I think that'll be dramatically improved as well. Now with the aqueous bath, this paper is so thin, I think we're this is gonna come apart. But I think this all has to be mended anyway. It's a tiny paper bridge, which frankly is just a little bit of pulp in here is all that's holding it together. It's already been creased and it's weak. It's creased and weak here as well. So it's not really doing a function. If we get a split right here, we know exactly where the pages go back together. So other than alignment, it really doesn't serve any function right now. So I do think we're still going to do an aqueous bath knowing beforehand that this is probably going to finish splitting and being okay with that. We'll do aqueous. We'll brighten all of this up. We'll get, I think we'll knock down most of the bleed through on the other side and make it much more presentable. We'll come back and we'll pull from our carrier any paper that can be mended back into these places. We will. And then we'll come across all of it with Japanese paper to mend all of this. Make it strong. We'll mend this tear and this corner, this edge, this tear. And I think we have one more tear. We have definitely that one. But I think we have one more tear. Maybe it was in this area and it's more obvious from the other side. We'll mend all of those and then we'll clean all those interior pages and uh, reassemble the book. All right. So you can see there was a definitive colored difference between these before. 
now that's basically gone. So we have the adhesive off this area. Similarly in this area, I think there's still a little bit of adhesive in here and you can see the remnants of that line. And we haven't done this yet, but I expect this will clear up similar to how these two did. So we have this area here to work and then we can turn our attention to the back of the book. And I think I will wet this and come back in here just to get a little bit on this line. And make sure that we have all the adhesive off. Yep, I could see I got some right there. I had just a, I don't know, even with a zoom in, if you're gonna see that on the camera, but we're getting tiny little, it's such a thin layer of adhesive that's left right now that it's the tiniest specks we're pulling up. But your finger can feel those. And as I was saying before, you know, you can sense the, the tackiness. But as I was saying before, those solvents or those adhesives rather, eventually they're going to work their way into the paper and they're going to age the paper prematurely down the road. So they have to be removed to do a proper conservation. So even though they're barely noticeable, of course, we're gonna take care of them. So we don't have any half-stepping on our channel. My dad kept us very busy with chores when I was a young man. And we learned a lot about just fixing anything that broke around the house, taking care of things yourself, just figuring out how things work. But one of the absolutes was any job worth doing is worth doing right. And that's certainly true with comic book conservation. All right, I think that area is going to be done. Right now you can see what looks like it could be a tide line, but it's not actually, I don't believe. It's just the solvent here. That's the solvent front. And as it volatilizes off, which I think it's doing right before your eyes, that dark line will disappear. We, and I don't expect we'll have a color difference there. Let's turn our attention back down here. Do we think... It made a difference to do a clean across, uh, a uh, solvent scrape across here. Maybe it just worked a little bit to take the harshness off that dark line. So I think with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and hit this area here gently. Probably here and maybe a little bit here. Um, as you can see, this is not nearly as time consuming as taking the uh, carrier off. So we'll put a little bit, we'll invest a little bit of time into seeing if we can't improve this. Even though I think the adhesive itself is largely gone, there may just be barest amount holding a little bit of dirt debris there and that's what's giving us this dark line i think it's worth coming in and just seeing if we can't remove just a little bit of it and improve the appearance just a little Again, there's a little flake of paper. We're going to lose some of that. That stuff is already loose. If it comes off that easily, it was not, it was not securely attached. Okay. I do think that improved that a little bit, so it is... I will continue to do it. I think it's worth doing.
paper was torn right here, so this might be a tough call. I don't really feel much moving here. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit. Oh, there's some adhesive. Yeah. Yeah, I think that paid off just brightening up this edge a tiny bit, just removing the barest amount of adhesive from it. I'll do the same up here. Through this area. I don't really want to come in at this very awkwardly because I want to work. I never want to work against the paper, meaning it's still sort of strong intention. I don't want to push it against the direction that it's weak. So, for example, I want to go this way against here, not this way. I think we got that. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I think we got this side done. We'll flip it over and, and do the same thing to the other side. I think probably we'll call it a video right here. So I appreciate everybody being on this journey with me. Again, if you enjoy this kind of content, please give the video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let's have a conversation about the conservation of this book. Subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Until next time, take care of one another.